Hello hopefuls and thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. I want to share an easy Dollar Tree graduation DIY that I actually did on last year for my son's graduation and I didn't get a chance on, around to making a video about it so I want to share this year and I did save them for JJ this year because he's graduating from the 8th grade. So these are the supplies that you will need. The glitter is from Walmart but everything else and the ribbon is from Walmart, but everything else is from the Dollar Tree. I cut the poster board down to size into squares, and I will show that in one second. So you're just gonna take your Mod Podge and just gonna put a little bit in your jar from the Dollar Tree. You may want to clean this out with some window cleaner to make sure everything adheres to the jar really well, but the key to this is just to work with just a little bit of product at a time and apply glitter and then just keep doing the same process over and over. So we're just going to take our brush and apply the Mod Podge to the sides and then we're just going to sprinkle our glitter and move the jar around to make sure that it's equally around the jar. So you're just going to work your way all the way up to the top of the jar with the Mod Podge and just keep reapplying the glitter. Now once you apply all of your glitter, you're going to let it dry overnight and then after you let it dry overnight, you may want to shake the excess out that doesn't stick with the Mod Podge. And now you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to size it down to the size of the top lip of the jar and you're just going to hot glue that down. So this ribbon can be found at Walmart. Now I cut this down to size and I actually use one of those mirrored square pieces. I don't know what they're called guys, but they're in like the candle section at Dollar Tree. And I had one and I just used this to trace it with the black poster board. And that was my guide. And that's gonna be the top of the hat. And I'm just now using hot glue and going to add this square poster board piece to the top. Okay guys and I'm just going to apply some pressure and then what I'm going to do is come back and show you how to do the tassel somewhat. It was a struggle and then we're going to start on this next project which was super simple. So you just need these little craft boxes and they're on the craft aisle near the toy aisle in Dollar Tree and I picked up six of them and I'm also going to use some spray paint which is from Walmart but I think it's like a dollar or less than a dollar so you can get this flat paint or you can get whatever type of paint you want maybe your school colors but I got the black and these are the other materials the glitters from Walmart as well it's around like three dollars and some more poster board cut down to size and for this project all you're just gonna simply do once you spray paint it you're gonna allow it to dry and maybe a day or a couple of hours I usually let my stuff dry overnight and then you're gonna apply in small increments or not increments but small area the Mod Podge because it dries really quickly 
and then you're going to just apply some glitter you want to make sure you cover your surface and you have a surface where underneath like on the floor that you can vacuum because this can be a little bit messy but it's really pretty once it dries and what I did was I applied it on the base and then I added some glitter and then I went back with my brush and applied more Mod Podge like to the top so that it can really stick. And you see here that I'm working like in the small area and then I'm going to apply more glitter and then go back at more Mod Podge and kind of tap it so it can stay. And then when you're done, if you will like, you can add some of that um, polyurethane spray to help with the fallout usually I like to do that with all of the glitter projects so they can also protect it as well especially if you're gonna have it maybe outside or just so it can last longer and the fallout won't be as bad Okay guys, so this is what it looks like when it's all done. I am going to show you in one second how I attempted to do the tassel. You can see that it was a struggle. I would even, you can tell by my gesture here, that it was a struggle, but I got it. And if I just followed directions and was a little bit more patient with the tutorial that I was watching on YouTube, then it wouldn't have been a struggle. But I, I think I was crunched for time. So this is what the little hat looks like afterwards. If you do decide to use poster board or apply the Mod Podge and the glitter to the top of this, you may want to use foam board and maybe paint the edges of the foam board so all of it can be the same color instead of the white part of the foam board because if you notice that my edges want it to curl over with the moisture from the Mod Podge, so that would be an idea to do instead of using the poster board use foam board instead now I'm going to use these thumbtacks as like I don't know that little centerpiece that holds the tassel on the graduation hat 
and I'm going to attempt to show you guys somehow I create try to create a tassel but I did see quite a few tutorials I will try to link one below that I somewhat followed but if I just took my time and followed it it wouldn't have been such of a struggle and I wouldn't have gave up so I'll make sure I link that below for you guys the thumbtacks are from Dollar Tree the gold ones and this ribbon or yarn here is from Walmart so it costs I believe a dollar or a little bit less than a dollar you don't get a whole lot but if you're just doing a couple of centerpieces you don't need a whole lot anyway but you may want to use yarn and you can catch a sale at Michaels and get some yarn I'm not sure how much it is at Walmart but um, you, I'm sure you can use a coupon or something at Michaels and get a real good deal Okay guys, so my apologies. I cannot begin to tell you what I was thinking when I was trying to do it or how I did it. So again, I will link that video down below. That was one of the, one of the easiest ones that I could find as far as making a tassel. With the thumbtack, you're just going to press it down into the center of the hat and then you're just going to take some of the yarn and you're just going to wrap it around one side. You may want to use a little bit of hot glue to make sure that it stays in place. And that's it for your graduation hat DIY. And this is what the other graduation hat DIY looks like. And again, you can do any color of your choice, of your school colors. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Sorry it took me an entire year to get this out. But I have another display board that I also promised that I would get out. And I will put that video up soon to show you how I do a Dollar Tree display board for a party or any celebration. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.